This is Iron Trader, and this is Midday Trading. I'm going to take a look here at crude oil, natural gas. But first of all, I'm going to take a look here at Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan on the verge of breaking out. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell any stock the ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have Goldman Sachs daily chart and J.P. Morgan daily chart. Now, look at how beautiful this chart is, okay? So, let's just take her back a little bit. Look at here. All the way here, uh, just beautiful. Bottom left, upper right. Look how nicely that uh, eight day, 21 day, 100 day, just moving up nicely. Now we're looking on the verge here of a breakout. The key level is gonna be, is this 607.15, that's gonna be key. So you can see, so right now you're sitting at 603.18. You crack that on a closing basis, you gotta close above it, not just pop up and down. You close above it, well then you got that 610, 615, 620. You're gonna go through these round number kind of a situations. Now, just say it, it falls down, goes a little, a little correction here. Well, then you, what you want to do is you want to look to um, always look to this candle here. This is going to be key. That's 598.61, okay, because that's where you had the big breakout. That's 560, uh, yeah, uh, uh, 598.61. That's going to be the key. Then we look at to, to, uh, uh, today's uh, low, 592.65. We look to yesterday's low, 591.47, and it will come down to the bottom of this candle at 581.30. Now, and then we have your nice eight day here at 575.45. Now, again, if this corrects, what you want to do is you want to watch the bottom of this because this is the gap. 566.10, and then we'll come over the top of this candle at uh, 527.46. Uh, uh, now, I'm not saying that's where it's going to go. What I'm saying is if it does correct, usually these gaps, it'll come right down to the gap, okay? And then sometimes it'll come all the way there and fill that gap. So we got to see. But you are getting into a, like an overbought here condition. This here green is over your red, but you're getting pretty top heavy here. So let's just see how it changes. So if it breaks out at 607.15, yeah, then you can run up higher. But if you can't, you're going to have some sideways action. Now, JP Morgan, pretty much the same. Stock. Now, these are my two favorite. These are the ones that I own. These are long termers for me. I don't really trade these. I just, you know, these are two of the, the best in the business right here. So, obviously, you got that 248. That's going to be very, very key. And you can see here how we're running up here. But this is kind of almost kind of like a, a bear flag situation. So, you got to be a little bit careful on this. Okay. So, if we can get today's high was 24409. Uh, we get past that, we can come up here, uh, 244.57, and then we have your 248 uh, retest. You go above that, then you're going to probably go to that 250, 260 area. Uh, very good. Now, this isn't that big of a runner as like with the Goldman, but it does run here pretty good. Now, what you want to do on the downside is watch, obviously, today's low, 240.31. Then we watch yesterday's low, 231, 238.76. Then we just keep on venturing all the way on down here, 230.34. But what you want to do is you also want to watch the bottom of this candle here. That's at 234.77. That's a gap. And then watch the top of this candle, 221.96. There's your fill, gap fill. But we do have that eight day. You do have the 21 day. So I'm not saying it's going to go down there. But if it does get uh, hammered here, this is a good possibility where it comes right down to the bottom of that and it lines up pretty nice with that eight day. And then if it keeps on going, you got the 21 day, but you do have that gap fill. Always remember those gaps. Very, very key uh, situation here. Now, this here got to like an over. Uh, uh, um, uh, a bought condition here. So you got to be very, very careful, but you can see where the charts are pretty much very, very similar here. But if you're into the banking business, these two here, these are my faves. Okay, let's take a look here now at crude oil. Okay, here we have uh, daily chart crude oil and weekly chart. Right on one on top of the other, make it look very, very easy for you. Here, all stretched out. Now, you can see here what it was we have for today's low. We had uh, 66.94. We're looking for the 66.72 uh, level. That was the key, okay? So I just said, just go to the left of the chart here. You had uh, uh, 67.28. What do we have here? You had uh, 66.92. Uh, and then today's low here was that uh, 66.94. So you came in within two cents of that candle. And then your next level here would be that 66.72 level, okay? So now this was actually a pretty good scalp here in the UCO. Um, uh, all the way down. The, the key is when you put these price channels in, you want to make sure that they hold. Now, if it broke through there and then keep right on going, well, that's what you don't want to do. So you don't want to have like this where a candle and it breaks through that price channel, then you know it's going to go lower. But this one here, it held it, and now we have yourself a kind of like a bottoming tail. But, okay, here we'll look at the upside. So you want to watch today's high, 68.86. We want to go to yesterday's high, you're looking at 69. Uh, 13 and then we're gonna start running right into this all this resistant level here. You got that 70 uh, uh, 07 uh, That's your 21 day you got that 70 33 and then we have this uh, 70 56 so if this gets up to this level It's gonna be very 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 strong is that you're gonna need something here to pop that back up now You can see this price channel see how it goes came down and then it just rolled over and now Look at there 
sideways action. So now we got a trading range, okay? So you got that 72.88 uh, there, okay, which is uh, uh, right there, top of that candle. And then we have the bottom there at that 67, 66.72. That's the trading range that we're going to have. But you have all this resistance, so just watch that if you're long. To me, this is just a scalp trade. So on the upside, watch today's high, watch yesterday's high, and then watch all these simple moving averages. If we can get above that, then we can follow the candles up, but realistically, you're going to go right to that price channel at that 72.88 level. Downside, you just really want to watch this key level, that 60, uh, uh, 672. If that's lost here, then we can come to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 66.33. And then we have here, you've got 65.63 and then 65.27. So when you look on this, this uh, uh, weekly chart here, there's your 65.27, the bottom of that price channel, okay? So then your next level, what you're going to be, is you're going to be right here at the bottom of this candle right there. Okay, you're looking at 64.36. And then here's your big target is going to be that 63.64 level, okay? So always look to the left of the chart because where it's been is usually where it's going to go, okay? So now, again, if it gets lower than that there, okay, then we're going to come right down to this level right here. You're looking at that 61.82. And then we can just start following the tile like these candles here, okay? So this is what you're going to be looking at here, okay? This is what you're going to be looking at all the way on down until you can get, I mean, you got a retest down here at 40.15. I'm not saying that's where it's going to go, but I say just look, take one level at a time, this level here first. If it goes lower than that, then we take that level. If it goes lower than that, then we come right over here to the bottom of that candle, that's 61.82, and then we just keep following all the way on down, okay? Just keep following, following, following. Look at the bottom of this candle right here. See what you got? you got all the way down to 57.25 levels here, see? So always, always remember that. Once you start losing them price channels, then we just follow it until we get a some kind of a, a bottoming situation. But right now, it's holding that price channel here on a daily chart. So right now, we're looking uh, okay. Uh, and then remember, tomorrow, I should say today after the close, you got the uh, API report. And then tomorrow, the EI report at 11 o'clock for crude and at 10.30 for natural gas. Speaking of natural gas, let's take a little peek, ski what natural gas is doing. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily chart. Now you can see here where, let's see what we got going here. Let me bigger up a little bit. Okay, so yesterday we had that indecision candle. And then today here we had is we had a, a lower high and a lower low. But now you can see she took off and went green. Now actually, uh, UNG was a very, very good scalp. Okay, so you got that, got as low as 13.43 and as high as uh, 1440. Okay, now I didn't get all of that because I'm not looking for much, but I got 30 cents, and that's what I was looking for here on the UNG. And I'm gonna see if they can get another scalp. But again, you take 5,000 shares, 30 cents, it's a, it's a pretty good day just in the natural gas. But I got oil going in and, and NVIDIA and all this stuff going here. Uh, Tesla is a good uh, uh, a trade today, actually, even on the short side. Tesla was a really good trade today. Um, so there's a lot, a lot, a lot, I should say. But anyway, today we went down to made a low of that 2.83. They said, well, how did we come down? You know, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, 2.83 on the low. Well, I just said, just all you do is look right to the left of the chart. What do you got here? Okay, 2.83. Okay, that's what that that's that's just look. Look at the high of that candle. See, that's your support level. Just look to the left of the chart. Everything for you is right there. Now again, if we lose that, then we're gonna come right over here to the top of this candle at 2.81, and then we're gonna come right here at that 2.796. Uh, your uh, eight simple moving average. Okay, so this is why you always want to trade the chart. So I just look at level to level. It lost yesterday's low. Okay, so I'm just being very patient. 2.85. Then I just look right to the next level, right there. 2.83. Okay, it held it. Boom. Take the trade, okay? Now, again, if it had kept on going, then we looked at that 281, and then we look here at that uh, eight day, but it never got down there. It bounced off that 283, and now she's going higher. So now what we wanna watch here is, obviously we wanna watch today's high, okay? So you had 2.99, and then we wanna watch, this is the big candle up here. This is that 2.301, but realistically, this is the candle you're looking for, 3.019. You need to close above. If you can, your next target is right there at 3.159, okay? Very, very simple, okay? So then let me just stretch this out a little bit here, okay? So there's your target, okay? If you keep right on running, there's your next target, okay? If you keep right on running, 3.159, and then right up here, this is your next target, right there at that 3.39 level, okay? And then you can just keep right on going, okay? If you wanna keep right on going, you just keep right on rallying all the way up here, then we have targets all the way up here, Okay, all the way 3.36 or 6.3. Okay, so this is why you want to just trade the charts here, but take one level at a time. That's the key. 
But right now here, always watch when this does sell down, look for opportunity in natural gas. That's the thing is the opportunity is the natural gas is still very, very much in play. And I think it will be in play here even next year because of the LNG situation. We're going to get that running again. We're going to start shipping that out, get those pipelines going, and we're going to be back in the energy business. That's what I'm going to be doing. So just watch the left of the chart. There you go. Boom. Take the trade. Now we've got to see. So just watch yesterday's high at 3.01. That's going to be very, very crucial on the upside. And right here on the downside is this 2.798. RSI here looking very, very good. See that? Plenty of room. Green over your red. Very, very nice here. Okay. So as long as that price is holding an eight-day simple moving average, we're looking very, very good here. Okay. So we had this uh, bull flag uh, situation ran up here. And then this morning, it looked like a possible another bull flag situation here with this pole, but we got to see how this is going to shake out. So just be patient with this and just trade it. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'm back here after the old pit close. And we'll take a look here at crude natural gas and then throw something else in the old mix. Now remember, don't have no opinion on anything. Okay, just trade the charts. And if you say, oh, I missed the bottom. So what? Okay, you'll catch it again. That's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? And I say, oh, I didn't sell the top like that. That's okay. You know, you'll, you'll, do, you'll catch it again here. But just be patient. That's the key. Trade what's in front of you, not what you want.